the best teams in the world too. Well, you need to be one of the best teams in the world if you want to make it into face at league. So, if you can't beat them, then uh, <coughs> they will have deservedly requalified for the league. But we'll have to see if they can do it. Again, people very surprised with their placement. But then, outside of the kind of outside of the newcomers to the league, like like Navi were technically a newcomer, but they were unable to enter previous uh, parts of the league for various reasons. So. Really, I'd say LGB is the newcomer to the league here. So for forgiving the newcomers, and the somewhat surprisingly, but then somewhat are oh, down fur further down. But then someone had to be. Yeah, it's pretty interesting actually. Um, I'm really happy that Navi made it through. But it's not about Navi. It's about this pistol round. And I just put on the CT side. Now Neo's going to quickly take a peek into connector. But this is the problem with this. He's going to get caught from behind. He's got to try to burst out of one side, trying to find the head. Of shocks, but it won't happen. So a bomb, the a bomb site has been reinforced now by Snacks. He's come in. He's dealt some death to Smith. Smith is no longer standing. Yoshima looking to make it right though with that Glock. Shocks helping him out as well. They are bursting into the safe site. So two on two now. It's actually happening here for them, as it's just Kiyoshima left. What can he get done? Got 24 health. Spots ahead. And there you go. Taz will win the pistol round for Vertus Pro. That was a close one, though. It's all over the place. Ooh, is that a new knife for Taz? I don't know. But it's a good start for Vertus Pro on the favoured side, of course. And the Overpass is a map where we can see, like, at the moment, like 12 rounds won, which sometimes is down to lack of proficiency from teams on the map. Although, I think we should see a good game from these two. So we'll see how many rounds. Versus Pro can get onto the board. Envy with those notorious Tech Nines that they are so good at abusing. Let's see if they can find the ranges to do so. Versus Pro playing passively. And again, overpass the way the map is designed. It takes a bit of exploring for the T side to clear all the little nooks and crannies and make sure the CTs aren't hanging around in any dodgy corners. Just as Max is right now. Look at Dinkno to 5 HP straight away. He will find at least one frag. Trade coming in from Kiyoshima. They are making their way in regardless. The rotation is going to start hitting that A-bomb side, but can they get there in time quickly enough? Stairs, and he goes up the stairs now to get himself onto those challenges, but they're all on the choke point together. Kiyoshima's dead. They're lining up for him with that tech nine. He does drop down one. Neo falls. Now two on three. Virtus Pro trying to battle their way back in. It's not going so well for them at the moment. Taz spraying away. It's not happening. Viali gets them on the crossfire, but... It is going to be another round one, or well, sorry, the first round one by Envious. They have actually reset for this pro straight away. Best case scenario now for Envious. Yeah, that was probably the most dangerous round for versus pro. And they didn't manage to eke it out. Again, Envy on Tech Nines is, even when you're on the full buy, let alone the second round of the match, it's uh, never a good situation to be in, very precarious. And Envy show you why. So. That's great, considering how lopsided this can sometimes be, the fact that they've got half the round so far of these two is a good sign for Envy. See the limited buy here for Virtus Pro, but this is a map where it does favor lots of close corners and close quarters combat. Pasha not gonna find the frag onto Smiths. He will survive with half his life left. So four versus four, near with the scout. Taz looking to get into a sneaky position and Happy might not see him Oh, he's blindsided him, and we'll get the frag and a man advantage. Okay, so four versus three. They are slowly creeping onto that uh, the A bomb site. There are the the terrorists, envious, but Virtus Pro. They got the bodies in place to try to defend this. They've done quite a lot of damage so far, but three frags incredibly quickly thanks to Shocks and Kiyoshima. It's going to have Taz rotating, but. At least Kiyoshima's weak. If he can say able to catch Kiyoshima off quite quickly, perhaps he can make this doable. But he is being covered. He's got a meat shield there in shocks. Kiyoshima looking towards bank. Shocks firmly fixed upon the stairs there. And Taz is going to spot him. Goes for the running spray. Gets the frag, but he can't convert onto Kiyoshima. So another round won by Envious. But they did make it cost quite costly. But Virtus Pro, they're going to be having to eco this one. So that was made quite expensive for Envy as well. But on the T side, they wouldn't really care. Round advantage. You've got the Eco coming out again for Versus Pro. Two flashes from Snack. So it looks like they've got a plan. Over the hedge does the flash go. And then we've got blind players for both sides. The 
got a second flash and there it goes. So are they going to charge? Indeed, it's a five-man push here. The bomb is down straight away. That's two plays down. He picked up AKs as well. Now, he needs to trade onto Smith. The trade happens. And Virtus Pro are in a very strong position indeed. Again, they've been drilling maps pretty hard recently. And you can see they've got their eco drill down on overpass as well. What a solid take by Virtus Pro. That is really scary. I'm actually afraid that they use this for, for you know, a best of one match. Because teams now, when they play Virtus Pro, they know that in the future that this is possible now. And uh, that's quite a sh the shock of that was crazy. It's the second flash that went over that really did them in as they pushed as five. And it's just happy left. He's going to be able to take down two simultaneously thanks to the grenade. Two on one. Happy. 40 seconds left on the clock to work with. The, they are going to hit a stepping here. He, he doesn't really have a huge amount of time. And the amount of space he has to cover, he's really got to be running. So he's giving away where he is. And there it is. Gets snapped by Bialy. And that's an excellent eco play from them. And it makes a lot of sense because it's so wide, those choke points. We saw them facing as five <laughs> against one or two. That's ridiculous. Five-man push. Yeah, and the fact that the first person for Envy, the guy on the front lines, was the bomb carrier as well. And the, bo the bomb drops kind of around the corner, like on the stairs themselves. Just put Envy in a horrible situation. Then they're getting traded after the AK gets picked up. And it just went fantastically well for VP. Neo going to be on the Orb rather than Pasha so far. We'll see if they go double later on. Snacks with two frags. Again, the Tech is coming out for Envy. Going to take down Snacks in the trade, but... See for the price of one, there'll be acceptance of that. I'm not sure if Taz saw Happy there. He needs to get this frag. There is another trade for the CT. So, the trade's going in their favor. Three versus two, and they have the rifles, although... Shox has managed to pick up a silence then for. We'll see if Kishima can find himself a gun as well. He is the bomb carrier though, so he has to be careful. Has to stay close to his teammate. He's not close enough. There's no trade there. Shox will have to go back. Now it's Shox versus three to try and close out the round here for Envy. Oh, there it is. And that's that's crazy. Five players died in the first 30 seconds of the round. It was really, really high octane there. Very high pace to that one. So Vertis Pro now with not a huge quantity of money. So... Envious can still get a lot of damage done, even if they're losing rounds. If they're able to you know, effectively take some kills, like three three kills would be really nice, something around that region. Um, that's still going to put the pressure on Virtus Pro's economy to give Envious uh, an impact into the game at all times. But now we have two players pushing towards the upper park area from Virtus Pro, the A-long kind of area. Uh, it is going to be Kiyoshima to spot it, and if trades are coming in right now, and it's going to go the way of Virtus Pro. They just got better setups into these trades, and all Envious have to play with at the moment is connector control and toilets. That's all they have. Now, there's three of them left, and they need to build this into, into a bomb plant somehow. And with four players left of Vertis Pro and good spots on both sides, it's going to be pretty hard. How do they find the entry? How do they find the, the right decision? Two left for Envy now. Shox and NBK. NBK with single digits of life. But it's Shox this time carrying the bomb rather than the low health player. Taking down Bali, that means the bomb will be seen by Virtus Pro, and he's left with only 20 HP as well. So Pasha to try and defend. He can see the shadow will snap and take off shock. So NBK looking for damage now, just holding an angle. You've got 40 seconds for one of these CTs to try and find out where he is. Location has been revealed. Got a double peak coming out, but Pasha falls. You know, finishes things off with the pistol. So an expensive round for Virtus Pro. They saved the AWP at the very least, and get another round in the bag. Yeah, indeed. I mean. It's it's a shame that they didn't get the bomb plan as well. Um, maybe even seen them actually force up if they had. But they are going to go for some Tech Nines. And they've got a couple of flashes on Happy. So let's uh, check out what Happy's actually going to throw those. Because, of course, the play is going to be built around where Happy Flash is, more or less. So it's going to be over Monster for the entry here. Neo's there. Gets the first shot. Spots the entire lineup. They run through the flames. They're getting burned. It is a barbecue there on the Monster Tunnel, and nobody survives. Just Happy, he was the one to throw the flashbangs, and uh, now they are in trouble. I mean, Envious is a completely clean round for Virtus Pro, unless Happy somehow gets a couple kills here. And that's going to give Virtus Pro the ability to take some losses in the future rounds. But he does get a frag. Happy does have the armor and helmet, and he gets a fast headshot onto Bialy. So he is looking to get even more damage done here. Out comes Pasha, and Happy just was not facing the right way. So two frags is pretty nice considering, but five to two is now the score in favor of Otis Pro. Okay, so starting to extend their lead after the initial trades for both teams. Envy back on the AKs. See 
what they can do with all with full knaves again. Since since um, the days of the, the Danish Mike's MG team, when we saw them rushing the fight with place knaves and so on, we haven't really seen any other team do it as well as they executed. Burley with the to start the proceedings in round eight, taking down Happy. Snacks will keep control of the connector area as well. And the Polish team are just finding all the frags. Apart from that one, of course, Dan. Yeah, really key that they were holding on to sewers so effectively at the start of the round. And that built them into an aggression into connector as well, which is uh, pretty safe. So their map control plays are phenomenal at the moment. And Envious, after that, they're left without any options to play with. It's it's Virtus Pro who are just pressuring from all sides. Just they they don't let up. I mean, Neo has pushed all the way around. Look at that nade. This is ridiculous. The coverage of Virtus Pro. They have boxed them in in the most unlikely of fashions. Kiyoshima is making his way up toilets, and Smith is going to find one frag towards Snacks, who was holding over by the squeak door. But it's wow, Kiyoshima's opened up the bomb site now, and the two players on the flank they're going to be spotted. Neo takes down Smith regardless. So now a one on two for Kiyoshima. Okay, and he has an inkling as to where they might be. He's going for the engagement, will not win it. Bomb plants to dose, so that's going to be a good bonus. And I think we have Neo going to retrieve the bomb, which is why Taz might just be taking an extra second. And there we go, it has indeed been retrieved. So, a bit of money saved there. But again, Virtus Pro going to have to splash the cash. Three people falling in that one. Yeah, that was the aggression from Virtus Pro was kind of crazy. Again, they just put, you, you never see teams like pushing all the way around because the rotations are so fast between. I mean, if you see them pushing, it's because they have connected control or something. But no, they, they actually pushed all the way towards T spawn and around. That's quite rare that you see that. So Virtus Pro was showing a lot of cool stuff on Overpass. Even though we're only nine rounds in, they, they look super comfortable CT side. All right, so all the T's pushing through mid and pushing pretty fast. I'm not sure if Virtus Pro have got a sound cue because they've still got two people in long. And I think they're going to just run straight into A and get a free bomb plant. This is very bizarre indeed. Problem is though, Envious are going to have to mount a defense from every angle of the map now. This is so weird. And it's going to be Smacks who gets the first kill onto Kiyoshima as they are trying to get themselves onto the bomb site. MBK with a very devilish position, boosted on someone's head. Over at bank, finds Bialy, but Bialy did pick up one kill onto Smith, who was boosting him. Happy, meanwhile, really making the plays for the team. One on three, though, after all of that, Pasha coming in, gets only one frag there before going down. Six to three, the score as Envy is getting themselves back on the board, and that was ridiculous. They found the one blind spot, and just, they, it's almost as if they knew. They completely rushed the entire way. That has got to be a read, surely. One of their players must have said, they must have figured out where the CTs are playing and said, okay, let's just run past toilets into the site. And they barely even checked the site, but there's no reason for Versus Pro to be in that position. And now they're going to run straight into the B-bomb site. Yeah, we're lacking uh, grenades here from Versus Pro on the, the counter of this push. And they're straight up on the B-bomb site. And they've only received one loss. Happy has gone down. That's it. So really good stuff. Oh, Neo with a double. That's so, so important. Now MBK is like having to get himself over there and say, what the hell is going on? This Neo guy is just killing the entire team. He's got four kills already. Shox is the only one left after that triumphant spree of frags. And the bomb did not go down in that because of Neo. That's amazing. Some pro players are of the opinion that Envy are, they, they rush a lot. And with, with, the, with the weapons in the game, it definitely helps that style. But uh, this, is, this is quite interesting, actually. Right, you know, if they've, if they've spotted a gap here and they just run straight through onto the A site, plant the bomb freely, and then Virtus Pro trying to adjust, and they're trying to abuse that by rushing the B bomb site instead. Didn't work out on that occasion, but uh, interesting to see the play. So now they're going to be on the Eco once again, and we'll be rushing once more, this time with these close quarters guns working out so far. One man advantage here. Oh, just look at the greed going for the rifle there, not checking the site, and just gets a free kill for Neo to try and help him hold down the A site. There's another frag for him against Smith. He manages to reload his gun without a trade coming in. Just teasing the smoke there. Two versus two now. And you can see Kishima just with a Glock going to try. Oh, this nade. Money. Oh, my God. 
Just trying to wait for one of the CTs to overextend. Problem is, now Happy's got a rifle. He's got a minute on the clock. They've got the bomb due to CTs, but they have no intel as to where Happy might be. That nade's not going to work out for Neo. Yeah, that was ridiculous there. Neo's been beasting. Happy's coming in from bank now, and Bialy's got the angle, sprays him down, finds the headshot. 8-3 to three to score. That rush was pretty darn scary. I mean... Like you mentioned, Envious are a team that focus on... Then They're a team that are trying to exploit the game as much as they possibly can. So they're basically trying to abuse the fact that some rushy gameplay in certain scenarios with certain weapons is very, very potent. And we can see in that round, they almost won just off of that merit. But Vatis Pro, with their, their just sheer class, individual skill, clutch capabilities, able to hold on with two players left. But now... I'm going to try to wrap up into your toilets and upper park, but it's not happening. Snacks is there with the AWP. Pash is in toilets with the AWP as well. He's going to peek out and actually catch one, but he has to look the other way. Shock's already past his position. Now, can Shock's catch the, the player emerging out of the upper park area back into the A bomb site? He's going to find him, but the frag will not arrive. Going to go for the smoke off instead as he tries to create opportunities here. Look at how proactive Neo is. He goes out, almost kills Shock's, picks up another frag. This Neo guy is on complete fire right now. Happy versus three. Again, he's still got lots of time on the clock, so this is still doable, although unlikely for Envy. He will decide on how he wants to approach the situation again. Not one for moving slowly is happy. He just wants to charge into the site and shoot people in the face. That's exactly what he's going to do to Snacks. Looking for the second frag. And Taz will capitalize on the missed shot while he is unable to shoot. But credit to Pasha there. He saw Shocks see him. He knew Shocks saw him, but Shocks didn't come back for the peak, so he knew that he had to push, he had to force the issue before allowing them to position themselves to get some kind of weird crossfire trade situation. So he went out, got the frag, took out down one of the players and got some info for the rest of the team as well. So good play by Pasha there earlier on in the round. So again, we've got Envy. This time on a force by Tech 9, full armor, nades, smokes, molotovs. See what the plan is. They could be trying to close up the A site when they eventually get there. You can see Virtus Pro more conservatively spread out. However, the toilet area, they seem to have left alone once again. Maybe this is just a part of their plan. They seem to have uh, definitely drilled this map, as we said before. So, see how much they could hold with the, um, the, real, the real estate which they have afforded Envious. So far, so good. Four versus two. Yeah, and the remainder of Envious is so weak that it's going to be a cakewalk to clean them up. And uh, there it is. You see the follow-up frag from Taz. And one thing that's cool is that we don't often see um, Neo fragging so much just because of the kinds of roles that he plays on the team. And everyone on, on this team is incredibly skilled, of course. And so it's, it's great to see on Overpass that he's, he's just being so proactive. He's, he's taking these aggressive plays and just because he's so damn good, he's making it work phenomenally well. Even though these plays are kind of... Uh, if, if you're not an elite player, it's it's pretty much. Dan, we've got a B rush TV. coming in once again. Four people in the monster area. There's blind and they're in the Molotov. Familiar story. It's going to be easy to finish off now for the remaining plays with Versus Pro. Got to watch out for the Deagle though. Smith's taking down Neo. Do they have an opportunity to plant this bomb? Taz is having none of it. Taking down Smith, leaving Happy the last man standing. Once again, he's got the CZ. We know he's dangerous with it, but it's just too much to ask on this occasion. Virtus Pro extend their lead, and again, we did say earlier on, you can see a kind of 13-2 rounds. We're currently on 11-3, so not too far away from that. Yeah, an auto sniper comes out for Neo now, so mixing things up a little bit, we'll have to see where he's actually going to go with it. Um, he's going towards B, okay, so maybe he's going to go towards Monster. Uh, it's hard to say. You can use it anywhere on this map, to be honest. It's pretty damn good everywhere. But the fast push coming in here from Virtus Pro down towards Party. They're going to have an angle um, with... Snacks, but he's going to go down. Looks like Envious this time going to get the better of the players who were pushed aggressively for Virtus Pro. And that's going to give them a bit of an advantage into the early stages of this round. But Pasha does come back in. He's going to try to hold onto the toilets, stop their push towards the A bomb site. Now the rest of his uh, team just have to stop the push towards B, but they've got a player push. Um, wow, <laughs> Taz is just pushing all the way down Monster. Virtus Pro's CT side is so aggressive. And it's all down to Pasha now with the AWP. Gonna miss the first shot, give away his position. And you wouldn't expect Envious to give up this kind of a lead on this round now. Yeah, it's gonna be a difficult one for Pasha. And with the oh through the door or whatever that is, I can't even see through the smoke. This is <laughs> horrible. 
<laughs> he just wants to die at this point. So, he said it could be 13-2, ended up 11-4. Envy getting a few more rounds than uh, we've seen in worst case scenarios, but again, their window of, op of opportunity is small. If they lose the pistol, then who knows what will happen. Who knows? Who knows? It's hard to say, but I, I feel like Virtus Pro are really feeling on their game at the moment. They're just playing out their minds. We see all the decoys as well, going in with the decoys, tossing them all over the place. And where do they want to go? They can they can go either towards A or towards B still. Just Okay, so they're not going to open the squeak door. They're going to just move forwards towards the toilets area, see if they can get themselves some early opening kills. But Envious have uh, basically abandoned those forward positions. They are all the way back on the bomb sites, looking for the long range shots, trusting in the USPs. And so far, it's not working out so badly for them. But in comes Pasha from the side. They're not even looking at the. Oh no, this is going so horribly now after Pasha's push. And it should be an easy cleanup. Pasha is just relentless. Picks up four kills for his team. There was, Envious was so distracted there. That was a pretty fast round. All of these rounds seem really fast, don't they? Like some of them ending in 30 seconds. Yeah, well now we have Envy on the other side of the coin. We saw them on round two of uh, T after losing the pistol, but it might be more difficult for them once they, when they do not have the freedom of the T side here. You can see they've got a mix by 2CZ, 5-7, a Nova on shocks as opposed to NBK who does have a, uh, a liking for the shotguns. And Kishima on the scout. Kishima back in action after Scream taking his place in the previous week. So we've got two MAC-10s, a Galil and uh, an MP7 on Bayali. So this is uh, what Valve wanted to see, I think, a mix, a mix of weaponry here. A smorgasbord. board. Variety show. It's a stainless steel deli, that. Take yeah, your pick. And, and you know what? Like, Envious, they aren't really going to be able to do a huge amount, you should imagine. And wow, Shock's going in mid range with a big popper pump. Able to take him two kills? Are you joking? That's insane. And now they have a, an opportunity to actually take this round off of the, the back of the Nova play mid range. And. NBK and Kiyoshima, they're playing it slow and they're playing it safe. They know he's got a cross for the bomb, and there it is. Kiyoshima hits the shot. How on earth did Shox find those? James, what on earth was that? Yeah, that's the thing. The Nova has range because it has a very long barrel, Dan. Do you know why I know this? Because you own a Nova. Because I own a Nova, Dan. That's exactly why. Commonly used for pigeon shooting. Although I shoot clay rather than pigeons. Shout out to pigeons. But it has surprisingly good range, and some people complain about it, but it's because of lack of education there. It's long range by design. That's the whole idea of it. Well, we've got a fast round from uh, Virtus Pro. Look, looks like they want to get that wrap on to B. Now, they uh, will certainly know some good nades for this. And we already see Envious running around a little bit blind there. They're going to go in. In comes the spray from the MAC-10 as Envious look to make this a massacre. And MBK spraying him down with the CZ. It's going to be an easy cleanup, only losing one player, and for the record, James, I hate pigeons. Yeah, I'm not a fan of pigeons either. You, you gave them a shout out on stream. God damn it, James. Hey, well, they, get, they used to give you a boost on train, hey? Yeah, but that was. I've eaten pigeon twice. Have you really? At least twice. It was, how was it? It was alright. Was it terrible? Once it was, it was nice. No, it's good. Don't associate pigeon on a plate with the pigeons who poo on you in the street. Because three times, Dan, they've done it to me. It's happened twice to me in a suit. Once or twice. Those mothers. Wise words from the man on face TV. Okay, so now uh, Envy's time to try and have a solid CT side. Kishima abusing the broken scout. That is not intuitive scouting. <laughs> and Neo has, uh, with assistance from Shocks, killed Snacks. The funny thing, by the way, is that with the jumping scout there, because of the ability to do that, it, he had he was greedy and just taking more and more jump shots when they were just approaching him in the blind spot, just running at his position. If if he couldn't do the jump shots like that, he would have been long gone. So it actually it got him, it, game design. It actually got him killed in that spot because he it, he was like, oh, this is so good, it feels so good. It they breaks, can't hit me. It breaks game design. It does actually. It breaks it breaks map design. Okay, we got twelve seven now. MVSR swinging on back, but this is the round where versus Pro have a buy. So. Neo goes in. This guy wants to just wreck everyone. Just facing two players at once takes them both down. 
three players left for Envious now, and they are rapidly moving towards the A-bomb site. At least two of them are. They've got to leave somebody towards B because there's so much time for Virtus Pro to just do whatever the hell they want. And they are just going to go in, no nonsense push, onto the A-bomb site. And really, Shox could do a lot of damage here. Picks up the first kill. Position is now known. Gets the spray down on the second. Taz makes the trade finally. As we have a very weak Happy moving through the smoke as he does. But he's going to get eliminated. It's just down to one man. His name is MBK, and he's dead. Unceremonious defeats. <laughs> he's so dead. VP surviving with three players. Envy may find themselves a little short on cash here. Let's have a look at uh, what kind of buy they have. So only, only the one Famas. Money is all over the shop after the purchases. So, Versus Pro still with a six round lead, but uh, we saw in Kiev how difficult it can be to find those closing rounds on the T side of Overpass at the moment. Although, since then, again, it seems that Virtus Pro have drilled this map pretty damn hard. Look how prepared trades. they are there. Yeah, two trades in their favor. Trades all over the map, in fact. Going the way of Envy, but only in body count. They've got two sites to defend, and the T's have a minute and 15 to do it. They're quite spread out, though, so they're going to slow things down. Oh, that was a bad flash, and Pasha, in seeing that, he knew Shox was coming. And that's two on two. They've, they've actually managed to kind of salvage this round somewhat. And you, but the whole like, play towards a long towards Upper Park was <coughs> actually amazing from Virtus Pro. They had a really nice timing on the flash. They knew exactly how far the t CTs could be. They, they, they uh, could basically envisage everything before it happened. And now it's MBK, he's alone on this site. He's got to make at least a frag here. He's got to give his teammate a one-on-one -on -one if, he if he's to go down. Or he could try to survive and let them plant. These are his two options, but Pasha's going to come in and just take him out. And that is a really big play from Pasha, because now it's a two-on-one, a very different scenario that Happy has to try to clutch. But Pasha in a bit of a predicament here. Oh, he gets tagged down to one, and Virtus Pro are one round away from that match point. Versus Pro's general map proficiency is quite impressive. Yeah, it actually. really is super awesome to watch. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing what they do on train as time goes forward. But for now, we're still on overpass. They are two rounds away from victory here. And Envy find themselves on the fourth buy again. We had a look at their money following the previous purchase. Now they find themselves on two FAMSs, two pistols, and only the one M4 on Shoxy. who had to sacrifice a helmet for it. It's got a smoke as well. They are also lacking generally in nades. We see on Inferno how the, uh, we saw it today and yesterday, or yesterday, how the CTs could opt for an aggressive play here when they were lacking in utility. Shocks with an aggressive position here in toilets, but he will fall immediately to Versus Pro. Yeah, they're just going to charge on in again. They got the bomb in a forward position, just marching their way up now. There's the first frag on the Kiyoshima as Biali works his way around, and things are looking fantastic again here for Versus Pro, but. MBK throwing a wrench into the works. Happy coming in from bank as well with the spray down on the FAMAS. And they're doing the best they can to hold this push off. But Virtus Pro do have the bomb site, And with that extra work there done by Neo, they will have the plant as well. So there's Pasha. He's going to go down to Smith. Smith's full health. Neo, where is he going to go? Is he going to go to bank or is he just trying to fake Smith out a little bit? Smith actually doesn't know where he is at all. And there it is! Neo's gonna win the round and put them on match point. Virtus Pro. Oh my god. They look so strong at the moment. And Envious have to buy up with $3,000 each. Yeah, this is a pretty strong showing from VP so far. Can they close it though? Envy down, not out, but close to it. But it's gonna be hard. Scout, three pistols and a FAMAS. Even worse than the previous buy. So Neo with a timing Molotov there to seeming to stop a rush in a certain area. So it's going to be a push, Envy style, straight into the B bomb site. How can they defend this? NBK playing behind the side itself. The Caesar going to take down Snacks, get an opportunity to reload. There are two players down there as well, so they can play for the trades if they need to. Happy getting a sneaky kill onto Pasha as well. Only Smith down so far for Envy. Yeah, we've got Taz here working his way up. He does spot the player on short. Kiyoshima goes down. Taz looking to use that spray to his advantage, but his teammates are incredibly low. Taz needs to make some plays. Three players. They actually could go back with the bomb at this point because Envious are stuck on the site. They're actually in terrible positions, but how much do Virtus Pro want to risk all of this? They're going to go and try to burst out. And Happy's going to get the trade onto Taz. You had the bomb. And there's Neo spotted by Happy as well. Things are going terribly thanks to the IGL. Happy. Happy just 
goes into Clint Eastwood mode when his team need it. And there is another example leading the charge once again. So it's very common, actually, we see Happy top fragging for Envy. And here's another example. But it's not enough. They are still seven rounds behind Virtus Pro, who find themselves at match point and an eco to boot. Happy and his teammates carrying $22,000 of equipment. Our VP have a measly 4,000. Two players of armor, a bunch of Deegs. The Deegs, the De we saw Simple do what, an ace yesterday with Deegs? We saw him do a lot. Um, like a super awesome ace, amazing, awesome clutch play with Deeg. So it seems to be coming into prominence a little bit more. If your aim is as good as Simple, it's certainly a very viable weapon. Players tend to underestimate uh, the Deeg carriers as well, um, typically. So. Lots of damage done though to Virtus Pro on this push, despite being ahead on the uh, the players. But that's not going to last for too long. Two on two now. It's all evened up. Now we do have scouts, double scouts in play, but there's double envious players in play now. Uh, has left him to get sprayed down by NBK's Mac 10. Oh, P MP9, sorry. Um, so 15 to nine. Virtus Pro still on match point. Just going to throw in another buy. All right, now we're getting the big guns here for the T side. Pasha, no pun intended on the big guns, is bringing out the uh, AWP. And still, Smith can only afford a CZ despite Envy winning the rounds. But they've gone for loads of nades. Look at the Molotovs on the CT side. Tons of flashbangs as well. They are well equipped to go for aggressive plays. You can see teammates throwing through the window there in the connector area. But it's going to be snacks with immense patience to find a frag onto Smiths. Although, all they've lost apart from a man is a pistol. So, Envious now, they're in a position where they might want to try to take a risk here to get themselves uh, back in in this round and not let Virtus Pro just play their push out. That's a problem. Neo's gonna try to spot through. He does take down shocks, looking towards the site now, as his teammates are coming up the site. <laughs> are they even needed at this point? Neo's gonna spray down every single member of Envious. MBK should be able to win this battle. Neo was so weak after those successive engagements. But he's gotta clutch it. One versus four. There's the second player. There's another player. There's way more where that came from. 16 to 9. Virtus Pro take down Envious in explosive fashion.